Happy to have you back here on Old School Sports, where today we're going to talk about college football. Well, maybe not the big schools like Syracuse or maybe uh, my alma mater, Ohio State, did Michigan again this year again. But we're going to talk about local college football, St. Peter's College. Well, back in 1972, you know, that was a great year. Uh, I was in college at the time. But more importantly, St. Peter's College was really known for basketball. Of course, many of you know basketball for St. Peter's College was played over in the old Jersey City Armory, where it's packed with 6,000 folks. But in 1972, they came out with a club football team. Now, a club team is uh, guys who graduate from high school and maybe didn't receive the kind of scholarship they wanted or just wanted to stay home, and they formed a football team at St. Peter's College. Well, eventually, that team developed to a one double-A team. Now, they struggled over the years. Even at one time, the team went has had such a losing streak where they shut the program down. But since that time, they've come back. Actually, in, in 2002, St. Peter's College football team led one double-A in team defense. They struggled last year or two, but with the help of Coach Chris Taylor and what he's doing to build the confidence in, in these young men's making a better team, St. Peter's College will come back and be a stronger football team than ever. Let's talk to Coach Chris Taylor and the St. Peter's College Peacocks and the football team here on Old School Sports. I'm a defensive end for St. Peter's College. Um, we're one and two th this season, and uh, from Miami, Florida. I got recruited up here to play football for um, Peacocks in 2002, and um, we had a 10 one 10 one season the year before, and um, we're gradually improving. We have a good group of individuals. We're we're fast. We're uh, we have a lot of heart. Um, guys come from everywhere to. to Play with St. Peter's, and uh, we're just looking looking forward to improve. Well, the team now, um, through my years at uh, St. Peter's College, we've had uh, I've had three three head coaches, and um, and to, to this point, um, I, f I feel most comfortable here now at, at, at school. And um, we got a good group of guys, good group of coaches, and um, we're just looking to improve, looking to looking to get better. Um, I think the game's getting faster every year. Uh, guys getting bigger, stronger, faster. And you just got to improve in the off season. You know, the most important thing about coming here is graduating. Uh, you're, you're scheduled to graduate and when? May, May 2006, uh, criminal justice major, um, 3.2 GPA. Just that, that's the main thing we stress here is academics. I, I plan on getting a, a federal job somewhere, maybe FBI, Secret Service, I'm not sure yet. My name is Paul Noel. Well, my major is uh, business management. I chose St. Peter's because of the the fact that it's close to my home, you know what I mean? It's about a 20 minute drive from where I live right now. So that's like one of the main factors why I chose St. Peter's and come play football over here. Uh, this year, uh, off season, I just stayed in the weight room. I worked out every almost every day in the off season I ran. I tried to stay in the best condition, you know what I mean? Ate the right foods. Uh, compensate with heart. Heart and then uh, just effort. Just the will to go out there every day and work hard and knowing like you have to do what you gotta do making sure you do it and just give it your all every day. Um, just the biggest surprise is just uh, seeing how the guys stood together, knowing the, like, the numbers that we came to camp with, and uh, like seeing all the heart and all the hard work that they gave. That's one of the main reasons why like everyone has stuck with it. When I finish right now, um, first thing is just to get a job. And, like Whatever it is I do, you know what I mean? I just want to work. And um, I'm just trying to graduate on time and make sure I have the opportunity to get a, get a good paying job when I get out of here. Sean Mays. Sean, you know, you, you, you're not just a regular back at St. Peter's, a regular player at St. Peter's. You've accomplished a great deal. You are, I think, you're number one in rushing in the Division AA. Uh, you also did a tremendous job on Mac in terms of, I think it's a 60 yard dash and 110 meters in track? 100, 100 meters and long jump. Okay, that, that's quite a, quite a record. You know, how do you put all those things together? Because most kids think they do one sport and that's enough, but you're doing two and excelling at two. Talk about that. I try to train hard in everything I do. Now, what, what's your major at St. Peter's College? Uh, business management. What do you plan on doing when you finish? At least 
own my own business, son, in, in the long term, own my business, own some, my own business. And you, you're a senior now, yes, senior. Sir. Well, how would you capitalize and put the years together at St. Peter's? How would you put it? Sort of not knowing what to expect. I came into every every year not knowing what to expect, and you know, I sort of surprised myself so, every year. So you know, I'm gonna, I'm not. I don't know what I'm gonna expect by the end of end of this year, but hopefully it's better than last year. Okay. I've been progressing every year. Brandon Edmonds. Um, I'm originally from Columbia, South Carolina, but I live in Spring Valley, New York. You know, you're wide receiver, which is a tough position, and a position that's been kind of uh, uh, transformed here with this offense the last couple of years. How do you fit into this offense now? Well, um, I mean, I just bring my best qualities to the table. Whatever uh, you know, coach need me to do, I try my best to do it. You know, one of the things that I've seen that within this team, you're the featured receiver. So that means you're a target. How are you getting yourself to prepare for this every game? Because I know, as an old DB myself, I'd be coming at you. Okay, okay. Well, um, I mean, we watch tape a lot. We watch film. We try to figure out guys' tendencies and whatnot. And um, I just go out, try to do what the, what the coaches teach me, and um, make sure I run crisp routes and make sure I catch the ball when it comes my way. Speaking of that, you know, in high school, you probably just ran by people. But now the importance of running precise routes and technique is important. Talk about how you develop with that. Well, um, just making sure your, your routes are crisp because um, a lot of the time, a lot of people think speed is the key. But, I mean, speed is, it, it hurts, but um, a smart player can be better also. So, you know, just running perfect routes, um, just making sure you know what defense they're in, just making sure you know football. And what's your major? I know you're getting ready to graduate come next May. Okay, well, um, actually, I graduated already. I'm, yeah, I'm in high better. school. Yes, sir. I got my, my, uh, my bachelor's in criminal justice, and I'm receiving my my teacher's uh, certification in, in grad school. I, I've applied to the NYPD. Um, I, I could have I could have did that, but you know, of course, I want to finish school first. Um, I mean, I really don't know. Whichever one comes first, teaching job, uh, cop, whichever one comes first, I figure I got degrees in the two things that you never lose a job in. So, you got whichever that, one man. comes first. I'm Scott Bonanno, quarterback at St. Peter's College. Where are you from? I'm from Tiger, Oregon. It's uh, right above California, right below Washington. Well. Um, I had a good, pretty good high school senior year and got recruited uh, all over, pretty much all over the nation. They, they recruited me, I came out here on a visit, saw what I liked and decided to come here. My major is physics and mathematics. Well, last year I was a freshman, I was real young and so I was kind of thrown into the mix and it was kind of hard not having the experience. I think this year my biggest thing is more leadership and being able to check off plays is my main thing. I've gotten a lot better at reading defense, reading fronts, what run plays to run against, what fronts, what pass plays to run against, what coverages. And I think that's my biggest thing from coming from my freshman year to my sophomore year, just being more mature and taking more of a leadership role with this team. I don't have the strongest arm, and I'm not the most athletic, but the mental side is being prepared against what defenses you're gonna see, understanding every position on the field, who's blocking who, who's running what route, who's responsible for what. That way, if you see something, you can correct it. Is there a particular quarterback, whether it be college or pro, that you look at to say, well, I can work my game like his? I think for me, um, Tom Brady would probably be the biggest because I see myself to try to emulate him in his game with the same type of stuff as being prepared mentally and just being a leader and completing the ball every play. What's the toughest thing about being away from home in Oregon? Well, I, I gotta say the toughest thing about being away is probably not having my family come to the games. My dad's a real big football guy, and so is my family, and, and that's probably the hardest thing for me. I'd like to thank the St. Peter's College Peacocks for having the opportunity to talk with them about the team and the season. Coach Chris Taylor is doing a fine job trying to make some things happen, hopefully with some recruits 
and some more dedication, dedication by some players, and I know that's going to happen. They'll even have a better season next year.